hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today today is monday which means only one thing it is my premier league predictions for week 13 in this premier league season international breaks nearly over um england are through to the nations league semi-finals um so as i just said the premier league returns this weekend Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. Obviously, you can tell the first thing I'm going to do is Brighton versus Leicester. Um, Leicester, very sticky against Burnley. Uh, both teams wanted the three points, but then both teams don't, they don't want to come away with no points. Um, so, a point apiece, I think either team will take that, considering how low Burnley's confidence is. Um, Brighton, on the other hand, lost 2-1 to Cardiff. Controversial offside goal. Um, VAR was needed um, quite a lot in the previous weekend on week 12, and I'll tell you the other game in a minute. But with this one, I'm going to go with a 1 0 Brighton win. The next one is Everton versus Cardiff. Now, as I just said, Cardiff beat Brighton 2 1 by an offside goal. Six points in the Prem. But I don't think they're good enough to do it against Everton. Um, Everton, on, you know, a lot more strength um, than the teams Cardiff beat. As I said, Brighton was a controversial goal. Um, so with this one, I'm going to go with a 2 0 Everton win. The next one is. Fulham versus Southampton. Now this is where VAR could have been used again. Um, Southampton drew, but they should have won that game. Possibly two one. Possibly would have been two two. Um, with a Charlie Austin, he was given an offside goal where it wasn't. Um, but this is where I say VAR is definitely needed more than anywhere else in the game. Um, obviously it is in for the new season so from that season hopefully VAR will be here to stay I know a few of you might disagree with that but there's a video on this channel that if you do want to see it and see my opinion see how quick it's been used while I've been watching it check this video out you might find it a bit interesting um, but where's the game Clannio Radiori is back in the dugout for Fulham uh, welcome back to the game um, but I'm going to have to stick this one with the Saints. I'm going to have to go with a 2 0 scoreline. I think Kanye Radieri can work his magic, just not quite yet. Um, the next one is Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Now, Man United, I will back them to win this one. Um, no, you know, the money I got out there, they're expected to win it. Um, so where as Crystal Palace um, and enjoy themselves playing at Old Trafford the fear of dreams but as I've said I'm going to have to give this one to United and I'm going to go with a 3-0 scoreline the next one is Watford versus Liverpool um, now I call Watford the dark horses of this season they still will be possibly to game 38 um, I think what they're doing is incredible for, you know, they ain't made a lot of changes since last season. It all just seems to be kicking into place for them. Um, but we're going up against a very good Liverpool side. One of the two title contenders. Um, you know, it's, it's between City and Liverpool, even at this early stage, I personally think. Um, well as the result goes, I'm going to have to give this one to Liverpool and I'm going to go with a 3-0 Liverpool win. The next one is West Ham versus Manchester City. Um, what can I say about West Ham? Doing okay um, under Pellegrini. Manchester City are flying as normal. Um, you know, I'm finding it really hard to believe where a Premier League season could not fly without Manchester City. That's no disrespect to all the other teams, it's just Man City have brought the La Liga style over to the UK. Um, yeah, so 
you know, I'm going to have to give this one to City. Um, on a 4 0 win. Sorry, West Ham fans. Um, the next one is possibly a game of the weekend. There's not many big games this weekend. So, this is the only one, that, in my opinion, anyway. Um, Spurs versus Chelsea. Um, you know, two very strong teams. Um, Chelsea doing well under their new manager. Um, and Spurs are still playing at Wembley. Um, so, I'm going to give this one a one all draw. The next one is Bournemouth versus Arsenal. Um, now Bournemouth are doing good on that Eddie Howe as always um, Arsenal are doing amazing under their new manager now that now I've had time to settle in and not Emery but with this one I'm going to have to give it a 3-0 Arsenal win the next one is Wolves versus Huddersfield two promotion teams one from last season one before the season before um, Huddersfield was struggling before the international break but I managed to get six points before the international break um, has that hit the wrong time for Huddersfield that'd be interesting to see um, but with this one I'm going to give it a 2-0 Wolves win now the last one of the week and the last one I'm predicting is Burnley versus Newcastle now Burnley low in confidence, um, you know, they started to pick up points, but they're going up against a very low Newcastle side, who yet again picked up points prior to the international break. But with this one, I'm going to call it a one all draw. So got, this is the end of the video, all 10 fixtures predicted. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.